I bought a m -m 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 massive box of untested iPods from Goodwill, and in this video, we're going to test and explore a bunch of them, see what we find, see if they work. Guys, welcome to another episode of Too Many iPods. Now, as you guys can see here, we still have a bunch of Nanos, Classics, and iPhones and iPod Touches, so let's just start going through them. Now, I want to start here with this 7th Gen iPod Nano, because it's basically like a, a mini iPod Touch, which is just awesome. Like, you see iPod Touch iPod Nano, but just mini versions. You even got the little button at the bottom. And you can see it does have life here. I, I did already try to charge everything, so anything that did charge should be charged up. And let's go ahead and just explore this thing a bit. So we got our settings, clock, all the standard stuff here. We'll start with photos, nothing there. Now let's go ahead and check out the songs here. And it looks like we have, we, <laughs> we have like 15 songs total here, which is just not much at all, obviously. We have a couple of U2 songs. I almost wonder if those are from the album that, <laughs> that Apple added to everybody's iPod back in the day or iPhones, whatever it was. But yeah, not a whole lot going on here. We got, what is this, Quidditch third year. Is that a song? I'm not gonna play it because it's just like, it's just music, but it's, yeah, it's just, I guess, a song from Quidditch in Harry Potter. That's such a strange, random thing to have on here. Let's explore a bit more. We got the radio, of course. We got videos, but no videos. And how big is this thing? We got, uh, it doesn't say how many gigs are on the back, so let me go ahead and check here. Let's go into about, we got Lacey's iPod with 16 songs, and it's got 14.7 gigs available, and okay. That's cool, it does work, which is great. Let's put it to the side and move on. Now, next up we have this iPod Touch, which I just uh, clicked on and <laughs> it's got this, are those two dogs jumping up in the air? That, dude, that dog's got some insane hops. And let's go ahead and see, is there, is there a lock screen? Or a, oh, no passcode, let's go. Let's go, baby. All right, we got uh, iPod 8 gigs. This appears to be probably like second or third gen iPod. We got a ton of games here. Oh yeah, we got Space Light, Photo Hunter, Moto Chase, oh, a bunch of, slot machine stuff, casino, this person was definitely a gambler. Let's get, what is it, the, the backgrounds app? Oh, dude, that's, that's hilarious. I forgot those existed. Uh, you can't, <laughs> edge slash 3G or Wi-Fi must be enabled. That, that right there is a throwback. Now let's go ahead and just check this thing out. See if there's anything loaded up under mail. Uh, nope, not surprising. Wow, you can see when it was last updated though. <laughs> last updated March 21st of 2009. That is wild to see that. Uh, but let's go ahead and keep scrolling. Any notes? <laughs> we got a note that says check mail. And I already did that, bro. But let's go back again. Of course, you got the cool YouTube app. Uh, wait, oh, wait. Yo, no way. Yo, what is, this is awesome. I, I've never seen this before, but it actually kept, I guess, the, it cached the uh, the top videos at this point in time. So we got videos like, if you seek Amy, Amy, uh, what is this, official music videos, I guess? Mormon messages with 63,000 views. We got, <laughs> we got some highlights from the March, March 11th, 2009 Lakers game, which is awesome. Can we see this in history? <gasps> Yo, we can see their YouTube history? Dude, that, that's awesome. We can see famous for not being something. Can I click on it? Oh, dude, this is so cool. You can see like the old description and everything. Famous for not being famous. Follow me on Twitter from March 2009. Okay, uh, let's see what else is here. We got this Britney Spears, if you seek Amy official video. Okay, let me just look this up on my, my phone now on YouTube and see if this video still exists and see uh, <laughs> how many views it has now. I cannot find that specific video. Let me just keep looking around and find one of these videos. What is it? Oh, yo, this is a, uh, oh my gosh, this is a uh, average video game nerd. I guess at some point his channel was called James Nintendo Nerd. Okay, guys, I found the exact video. You can see March 10, 2009 here, March 10, 2009 there, whoops. And we can see now it has 3.2 million views. Back then it had 155,000 views. Wow. We even got the, the five-star rating instead of the, the like and dislike. And honestly, I did not even know his channel was called Cinemasker now instead of Average Video Game Nerd. That, wasn't that what it was called? That is some wild stuff. I Honestly, I could go through this whole thing in like a full video on its own, but that that's just so cool. Let's go off that. I'm going to make a full video just going through this whole old YouTube app, just looking at the, that's so cool. Uh, let's go ahead and keep scrolling through. Any photos here? There, oh, oh, we got some stuff. Yo, we got beach, penguins. We got that dog photo, another dog photo, another dog photo, and a teddy bear. So not a whole lot, but it's, it's something. And then of course, checking out the music here, we've got Bob Marley, uh, a bunch of other, Sheryl Crow, a bunch of other artists I've never heard of, probably before my time. But yeah, we got some stuff here, kind of, oh yeah, Marvin Gaye, nice. Then honestly, oh, I really want to try one of these old games. Let's see if they work. We got this finger, finger sprint. Yo, what? Oh, that's, that feels so weird. I'm trash at this. Dude, <laughs> this is such OG iPod touch games. What a jackpot. And let's go ahead and move on to the next iPod. All right, now next up, we got this iPod classic that appears to have some charge. It's very beat up. Ew, it, looks, <laughs> it looks like somebody straight up rubbed this thing against the concrete or like a driveway. 
I'm gonna see if I can make sure it stays on here. And we've got apparently 160 gigs. Let's go. It's got some sticky stuff in the back though. Um, let's go ahead and let me start by turning the brightness up first. Nice and bright. And let's go ahead and check the about page. We've got Candace Schaefer's iPod, 57 gigs used, 91 free, uh, 8,000 songs in three games. That, <laughs> dude, these things hold so, there's still 91 gigs free. These things hold so many songs. Let's head to the music here, go to genres, and see what kind of stuff they got here. Oh, we got 129 different holiday artists, nice. Jars of Clay, I have not heard that name in forever. God rest ye merry gentlemen, nice. Oldies, kind of like DK oldies. REO Speedwagon, let's go. Can't fight this feeling anymore. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. You'll go down in this iPod when I sell it. All right, guys. Well, this iPod works. Surprisingly, the hard drive is not dead yet. Just got songs. Honestly, kind of disappointing that these classic iPods just have songs because I, I, I'd love to see some music videos or something. Uh, anything. More than just songs on them. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. We got another iPod Nano. We've got... Uh, one of the newer versions, probably, which, <laughs> what is this? Up Your Creative Genius. It's one of those customizations, but if, I feel like this is a customization that's just like a, a recommended one by iPod, by Apple or something. I, I don't know. No power. Let me plug it in here. Oh, ooh, we got some black lines on the screen. Honestly, maybe that's from a battery going bad. I, I have heard you guys. You guys are saying in the comments that the iPod Nano batteries are just like poop. They just go boom. They don't work or they bulge or they die. Uh, so I'm gonna, tr gonna try to be careful here. I also bought a FireWire cable. So in the next video, we'll try out some of these iPods that don't turn on at all. We'll try to put some FireWire to them and see if we can brute force them basically. And this one, I mean, this one's booting up. Uh, it's got one song on it. Hold on, hold on. What is the one song on this iPod? Uh, I'm gonna guess White and Nerdy. It's gotta be White and Nerdy. It's HU Song 1. What, what is that? Dude, the song is 20 minutes long, what? <laughs> This song is literally like one note the entire time. What, <laughs> what is this? What is this iPod? Uh, funny enough, it is actually working though, despite the, the weird lines on top of the screen. Let me go ahead and check the about section real quick. And oh, we got Patty Dobrowalski's iPod. And looks like Patty has one song, three games, which come built in. And that's about it. But surprisingly, this thing does work. I wish I could find out the last time this thing was used. <laughs> it thinks it's in 2018 right now, which is not correct. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next iPod. All right, now this one right here is an iPod Nano. Looks like it's probably one of the first gen, maybe. I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not too keen on the, the iPod generations. They all blur together, to be honest. Let's go ahead and see if this one works at all. Yep, so no power here. And you can see that this, this screen or the film on top of the screen is like blistering right here, which is interesting. Looks like it's one gig, of course, scratched up like crazy in the back from 06. We'll put this one to the side. And this is one of the ones I'll put to the side for the next video where I try out FireWire and see if that'll fix some of this stuff. Um, or get some of these to like basically brute force them to, to turn on. Now next up we got this iPod Nano with a case on it. And this is a, this is a beefy case here, made by Belkin. And yeah, I mean, let's plug it in and see what it does. Oh yeah, baby, we got life here. And I also wanted to mention that I am planning to sell all these iPods in this series in a whatnot auction in the coming future. I'll put all the info on the screen and down below, but basically, Whatnot's in a live auction platform where I'll live stream with you guys, interact with you guys, kind of talk with you guys, answer questions, and I'll simultaneously sell stuff. So I'll put the, you know, iPod on the on the screen and I start out bidding at like $1 or whatever, and you guys will bid on it. And you can use the link down below to get a $15 credit, and basically anything you buy under $15 will be absolutely free if you're in the US. So check out the details down below again, and I will see you guys there. But let's go ahead and keep going through this bad boy right here. And the first thing I noticed is that we actually have two videos. So Let's just start there. Okay, actually, we'll go to the about first. We got Kate's new iPod, and you've got some songs, some videos, and games. Pretty standard, but let's go check out those videos. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, so that video was just like is somebody setting up a camera to, to record their PC screen, which is funny. We got one more here. Okay, and that was basically a continuation and just like kind of panning around the room. So not a whole lot, but it's it's something. From 2010, I don't know if that's accurate, but that uh, sounds about right. But then checking out the music here, looks like we got a bunch of big mix here. Uh, we've got a lot of pop, which pop and rock. So I, I thought this would be like a kid or something based on the video, but that doesn't seem like kid music. Uh, maybe it is, I don't know. Let me check out the games next and see if they ever played any of those. Nope, never played. And then last up, you know we gotta check out the, the camera here. So let me go ahead and just like record a little bit. All right, well, uh, another working iPod, I'll take it. Let's put this one to the side and move on to the next one. Now, next up, we have an iPhone, and I, I haven't gotten any of these to work yet, but we've got a, a white iPhone on the back, 16 gigs, no power yet. Let me plug it in and see if it'll boot up. 
All right, well this one looked like it was trying to turn on and then it just is doing nothing now. So we'll try this one with Firewire in a future video. But let's go ahead and move on. And I guess we'll try out this bad boy right here, this iPod Classic. And it's, oh, it's got a, it's got a message that says, happy retirement, love Diana. That's awesome. Let's go ahead, it's got 80 gigs as well. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it'll turn on. Well, no power on this one either. That's another Firewire candidate. Let's go ahead and try another one. All right, here we go, this one turned on. Now the screen is very dim, so Danny will have to brighten that up so you guys can see. I'll try to keep it still. Let's go ahead and search around a little bit. Let me go to settings first and see what it looks like. It looks like HP Administrator's iPod. What? That's such a strange description for the iPod. Oh, okay. So it has 152 songs. Let's go check those out. This iPod is actually awesome. It has a bunch of uh, like hip hop songs from probably the 2010 era. I just found Heartless by Kanye. I just found I Love College. Is that who I think it is? Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I love women. Hey, and I love college. Hey, lollipop. Is that Lil Wayne? Let's go. Swag when I surf. Now watch me surf and swag. We're going down, down. Something, 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 something. Sugar, we're going down swinging. No, 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 no. I loaded something, 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 something. Some. Cock it and pull it. Pull. Yeah. Soldier boy, something, something. Oh, Superman does. Me so, I, I remember the dance. Don't trust the iPod. Never trust an iPod. Don't trust an iPod. Don't trust these iPods. Dude, this is this iPod is amazing. This is like <laughs> this is like middle school era. It's right here. Like all these songs are like, ah, uh, what what year are these? This is like these are like 08 songs. These are definitely Everything I was listening to in like seventh, eighth grade, this, this is awesome. Uh, so unfortunately, the screen is very dim and this thing's probably gonna blow up me, on me in a few minutes. So we should probably unplug it, put it to the side and move it on to the next one. All right guys, next up we got this pink iPod Nano and it's got this little, it's got some little stickers in the back. <laughs> it's kind of funny, eight gigs. It did turn on. Let's go ahead and check out the about first. All right, it's Layton's iPod. We've got 229 songs, one podcast, <laughs> 1100 photos. All right, let's 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 check them out. Oh yeah, we got some was it fried rice, let's go. Dude, this is like, this is spelled out so clearly. Like I'll, I'll show you this photo right here and we'll blur out the faces, but basically what I'm deducing here is we got Layton as a cheerleader in high school. This is this is back in like 05, so we're talking ages ago at this point. And a lot of, the, half the pictures are like cheerleading photos. The other half are pictures of a dude playing football and basketball. So it's just like a high school movie where she's she's dating the the star player of the football and basketball teams. And uh, I'm just figuring out more and more that second. This is this is hilarious. You guys ran a picture of like a, like some sort of Ferris wheel ride at like a carnival or a state fair or something. We also got a few guys that just caught some fish. That's awesome. Yeah, here we go. We got the poster of when this person was selected to the varsity cheer squad. It says, congratulations, you've been selected to the varsity squad for the 2009 to 2010 season. Please come back for a mandatory meeting in the gym. That's all, oh, that just feels like high school. I don't, I don't those are not, not memories I wanna think about, but. <laughs> Dude, this is this is so funny. Also, it's kind of sad to look at them because it's just like somebody's photo. I'm sure they had the photos. If they were on iTunes, they're probably saved somewhere else now, but it's just kind of sad seeing stuff like this. Uh, but let's go ahead and try out one more iPod. All right, well, one more iPod does not want to turn on. It looks like a lot of these actually need FireWire, so we might have two whole episodes left at this point. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you have any tips or tricks for getting some of these iPods to work or finding out other interesting things about them. Just let me know down below. I'll try to implement it in the next few, the, the next few videos. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.